Okay, stage one is complete. Uh, so I've given a uh, jet wash, the old hood. Uh, but as we can see, still got to get all this off. Uh, which is just thick moss mold crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's got to take some uh, Milton solution, a uh, scrubbing brush, uh, to fettle all that. Yeah, I've done the back parcel shelf type cover. Uh, so that's all been cleaned now. That's just uh, drying out. So that'll be uh, that spot on. Yeah, let's finish off this hood now before it gets dark. Hopefully, I can get there. Uh, some of it clean anyway. Dilly dilly. Oh, it's cold. Right, so with me uh, Johnson's baby bath shampoo. Yeah, I've been giving this a good scrub. We can see all the green mold in it there. Green moldy moss. So I'll just let that soak for a bit rinse that off do it again and then I've got to use the Milton as well which will kill the air uh, kill the green uh, mold and moss spores right dilly dilly right so I've cleaned this with absolutely all sorts and I still can't get these bits out I think it's just dried on bird shit yeah now you can see remnants of it there however it looks a lot better and what I'm using is something I bought from the middle a little I don't know how long ago uh, it's an alloy cleaner you get different attachments for it um, yeah for basically cleaning your alloy wheels uh, and chrome and the like but, uh, I just used quite a useful tool so if you stick it on it spins around probably good for brushing my teeth uh, same principle however it's quite a harsh brush it's yeah, which is good, and I've used I'm using a tapered one here. And it just if you have a quick look at the part on here, it's like going on a bit of an angle. Firm pressure. There we go. Gone. So I've got to do it for every one, so uh, it's going to take some time, but I've got to persevere with it, I suppose. Because there's nothing else, it's going to shift this, just got to get into the material. Probably the batteries will run out, I'll get some Dura cells there, last for uh, a good while, like. Yeah, but uh, what a tool, I used to bought it uh, all that time ago, it's now coming really handy for this. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, dilly dilly. Right, so, uh, it's all off come up great really pleased with that fantastic so the next thing is just to give it the last clean with the Milton I was saying that will kill all the green uh, mold spores and moss spores and then I just need it to dry uh, even in this weather it won't take long to dry provided I've got it covered uh, so I'll just make some space in the uh, in the extension put it in there and just let it dry out and then I'll paint on the fab sill to reseal it and proof it I'll put two coats on and that'll be that roof fully cleaned and reproofed and ready to go back on dilly dilly so I've done my Milton mix just in a old squeezy bottle yeah uh, it's a one in five mix this is a little bit stronger than that leg but uh, it'll not do it any harm yeah, so I've already went round and sprayed it all on. The good thing we're putting it in a spray jet is it's going to force itself into the material to attack these um, 
mould moss spores and it's just going to make sure that I've you know got it all on the material everywhere as I say I've already done it so I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes clearly but yeah that'll make sure that when this dries I don't get any green patches because it will literally just kill uh, that mould in the material so I'll leave this on for 15 or oh, 15 minutes uh, don't need any longer than that that will have done its job and then I just rinse it off uh, with cold water uh, I don't need to use the power wash because I've already done the cleaning now so just sprinkle it with cold water uh, give it a rinse off and then that's it I'll put it in for dry and then I can do one of two things I can either fit it and then seal it or seal it and then fit it doesn't really matter I suppose it'd be beneficial at least to go around the bottom part uh, where it actually makes contact with the rubber seal when it's in situ um, because at least then I know that it's all uh, it's all been proofed everywhere that it needs to and then possibly put the roof on and then uh, and then complete the rest uh, it'll just be a little bit easier when it's taut um, yeah so I can get that uh, the liquid into the material properly Right, that's it guys, dilly dilly. Uh, disappointed. The marks are still on now, it's dried out. Um, so it hasn't worked. And the roof's clean like, but still not great oh, even these bits here where I thought it totally came off so back the drawing board dilly dilly <laughs>